How are you doing today? Very good, thank you. You've got some fans with you. I know. Fellow friends. They're extremely um, good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, now, you, of course, are of alien uh, lineage in the film, too. So were you guys able to kind of bond, hang out? Well, no, because they're the real thing, and I am a total fake, you know, so I had to be careful not to give the game away. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you guys kind of kept to yourselves then? Yeah, bit? pretty much. But you seem to get along now. Yeah, no, they're sweet. Are people surprised to see you in comedy? Action comedy? Aren't you better ask them? <laughs> well, they seem to be. Well, that's good. Surprise is a good word for life, isn't it? Was that something that you kind of keep in mind when you, when you looked at doing this movie, or...? No, no, I just, uh, I was sent a script, I read it, it made me laugh a lot, and I said, okay, I'll do that. Now, your character and Tim's character are kind of rather competitive a little bit. You seem to resent him quite a bit in the, in the film. Yeah, but we come, we become really good friends by the end. How is that working with him, though? You guys come from It's wonderful. Friends. Yeah, but it's great when two people come from different backgrounds, you know? Unlike poles attract, I seem to remember from physics at school. And you're playing a hairdresser in your next film, right? Well, a barber. Oh. Yeah. What's the difference? Well, barbers cut men's hair. Only. Yeah, and do short back and sides. And they don't do a lot of back combing. And I heard you now know how to cut hair well. Yeah, I, can, I, I have had one lesson, therefore I'm a highly qualified hairdresser. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. Have a good time tonight. Thank you. What was the best part about playing the blonde babe? Well... Obviously, I enjoyed it because I'm back again today for one last fix. Um, I don't know, you know, there's something about if I, I don't know, there's just something about um, that kind of blonde in the 70s and 80s that I just wanted to pay homage to. You know, they were, they were very, uh, they were very important in, in my uh, growing up and I just, uh, I just thought they were very inspiring. And also I was called Tawny. And if you're called Tawny, I think you should be blonde. And did you give Tim Allen any uh, alien fighting tips on how to just look like an action hero? <laughs> of course, I had to give him lots of tips. <laughs> but actually, he was very good. He, he was in great shape. And um, I think the way for him to kill aliens is just to make them laugh so that they just expire, that would be his greatest weapon. How did you decide on Galaxy Quest? It's uh, extortion. They have a cat of mine. I have a, a very nice cat, a Cougar, that's at DreamWorks right now, fed and being trained. And as soon as we get in here and as soon as it starts, and then I get the cat back. I saw this script a couple years ago, and I really liked that the guy eventually redeems himself. I like a script where you, you learn something, and that was uh, part of it. And then. It looked like, in order to get to where I want to go dramatically and cinemat cinematically, I want to do a, a real sci-fi or action film with less humor. This has got a lot of humor, but not what, not all that you'd expect out of me. My co-workers have uh, all the lines. <laughs> Any favorite sci-fi growing up? Oh, sci-fi, well my favorite would either be Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea with uh, James Mason, the Disney film, or Forbidden Planet with Leslie Nielsen. Tim, do you believe in aliens? No. If you had the opportunity to go up to space, would you go and how would you go? Right now. I'd go in a minute. But I'd like to go like this cushy thing I'm driving here. The protector, this, the, you know, you see the space shuttle, they're like, ah, God, and they float around and they, they got to, you know, go to the bathroom in bags. I don't want to do that. Okay. This thing this thing is like a living room. Have you seen the size? What well, do you see the size of this ship in the movie? Is it true Sigourney gave you action hero tips? Yes, it's true. Miss Ripley, Miss Bottles, every alien. I'm like the little, the little child. No, no, like this. I'll handle this. She was constantly showing me a handle of a ray gun. We have these big ray guns. She said the only way that you plot them was by making them laugh. Well, I could get the, I could actually stop the aliens that way. You know, fart jokes work on in any race. Okay. Hey, Missy. Uh, you're unrecognizable without your uh, makeup. <laughs> well, you know, the the biggest movie I've ever made in my life, and no one will know it was me. But you know, that's that's okay because people will look closely. They'll look at me. And I know her from, you know, that kind of Can you thing. talk about who your character is? Um, her name is Lali Ari, and she's a Thermian, and uh, she's got sort of, uh, she's the nicest person you will ever meet. Never, I don't think she understands what a frown is, and uh, has never heard of a lie. 
mm-hmm. your life. Been, but it must have been pretty easy to keep a smile up on the set, though. You got a lot of fun. Absolutely. It was a lot of fun. I mean, you know, Chill and Sam and, and, uh, and Tim, of course, and Alan. And Sigourney is incredibly funny. I mean, we just had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. Now the film's also about fans who are who are very you know obsessed into, and then you have Tim Allen, who a lot of people confuse with his TV persona, and then you have Sigourney Weaver, who you know has a lot of. There's a lot of <laughs> levels of absurdity to this movie. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest level of absurdity is that these aliens actually, with their superior technology, build a copy of a bad television show's spaceship, which now has to go fight a battle with these ridiculous, sort of quibbling you know, uh, egomaniacal actors at the helm. So it's, it, there's all kinds of funny levels to this movie. The, the fact that Sigourney Weaver is, is playing the opposite mm-hmm. of who she usually plays is, is I think, terrific. And uh, even Tim, you know, Tim just finished a long run of a successful television show, and it's over for him. It's very similar to the character he's playing in this movie, who had this television show and it's over, and now what do I do? And people, and he said people kept asking him home improvement questions and things like that. And I imagine for these characters, you yeah, know. you get typecast. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, it, it, Tim is known for that character, and they, they, the fans believe they love that character, so they often believe that Tim is that character, and he, he'll never leave that behind. Um, so in fact, you have to embrace it and keep, you know, keep moving on and doing other work, and. Uh, you know, hopefully he'll create a character like this one mm-hmm. that you will remember him for, which is different. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it, I, I think, I think it's time to sort of celebrate movies. You know, I, it's, I'm a big fan, and uh, I'm celebrating fans.